I just finished chapter one of Second Nephi, and it occurred to me it was kind of lame, and so is this one. So, figure I may as well get them both out of the way. And that was a drink for no reason. I just needed to wet my whistle. This is Lehi. He's still so doing this long ass farewell speech to his his seed. He's moving on down. <laughs> And now, Jacob, I speak unto you. Thou art my firstborn in the days of my tribulation in the wilderness. And behold, in thy childhood thou hast suffered afflictions and much sorrow because of the rudeness of thy brethren. Hint, hint. Jeez. Are they like standing nearby, you know, the other brothers hearing all this? Might explain a lot. Dumb shit. <clears throat> Nevertheless, Jacob, my firstborn, in the wilderness, thou knowest the greatness of God, and he shall consecrate thine afflictions for thy gain. Wherefore, Thy soul shall be blessed, and thou shalt dwell safely with thy brother Nephi. And thy days shall be spent in the service of thy God. Wherefore, I know that thou art redeemed because of the righteousness of thy Redeemer. For thou hast beheld that in the fullness of time he cometh to bring salvation unto men. As soon as he gets born and then gets killed, then it's good. That's what they're waiting for. They're probably going, any day now they're going to kill him and it's going to be on. Because <laughs> they know about all this shit way in advance. He's coming. It's like that Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> it bringeth salvation unto men. And thou hast beheld in thine youth his glory, wherefore thou art blessed, even as they unto whom he shall minister in the flesh. For the Spirit is the same yesterday, today, and forever, their favorite word, forever. And the way is prepared from the fall of man and the salvation. And salvation is free. Yeah, salvation's free. 10% you know, of your gross income and uh, a lot of your time. And of course, there's volunteer work and whatever else they tell you to do. And don't forget to vote the way they tell you to do. I mean, who knows better? <sighs> and the way is prepared for the from the fall of man, and salvation is free. And men are instructed sufficiently that they know good from evil. And the law is given unto men. And by the law, no men, no flesh is justified. By the law, no flesh is justified. Or by the law, men are cut off. Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that. Yea, by the temporal law, they are cut off. And also by the spiritual law, they perish from that which is good, and become miserable forever. Wherefore, redemption cometh in and through the Holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth, but not capitalized. But, uh, uh, behold, he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin. That's big of him. 
And I understand mighty white of him, too. <laughs> Behold, he offers himself a sacrifice for sin to answer the ends of the law unto all those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. This we're ripping off, I believe, Psalms now. Is it Lamentations? And unto none else can the ends of the law be answered. Wherefore, how great the importance to make these things known unto the inhabitants of the earth, that they may know that there is no flesh that can dwell in the presence of God. Save it be through the merits and mercy and grace of the Holy Messiah, who layeth down his life according to the flesh. Yeah, they killed him real in the flesh, but that didn't count. And taketh it again by the... He, he layeth down his life according to the flesh, and take it again. Taketh it again by the power of the Spirit, that he may bring to pass. Okay, close enough. I'm desperate right now. Oh, damn, that's nice. Ah. ah, make these things known. Uh, let's see. Wherefore, uh, ah, that he may bring to pass the resurrection of the dead. Boy, that was really rich in there, Rich. <laughs> Being the first that should rise. thought Elijah and Elisha rose a couple of dead people too. And in Ezekiel, I think. No, no. No, some guy fell on Elisha's bones and came to life too. But, oh no. JC was the first one. He started the wave. Wherefore, he is the first fruits unto God. Inasmuch as he shall make intercession for all the children of men. And they that believe in him shall be saved. And because of the intercession for all, all men come unto God. Wherefore... They stand in the presence of him to be judged of him, according to the truth and holiness which is in him. Wow. Wherefore, the ends of the law which the Holy One hath given unto the inflicting of, punish, of the punishment which is affixed, which punishment that is affixed, is in opposition to that of the happiness which is affixed. And like set there, like affixed, permanent sounding. To answer the ends of the atonement. For it must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. If not so, my firstborn in the wilderness, righteous, uh, wilderness righteousness could not be brought to pass. Yeah, too bad I killed that off. How to use that one? <sighs> neither wickedness nor holiness nor misery, neither good nor bad. Wherefore all things must needs be a compound. In one. 
<laughs> Wherefore, if it should be one body, it must needs remain as dead. Having no life, neither death, nor corruption, nor incorruption, happiness, nor misery, neither sense, nor insensibility, nor insensibility. Kind of like verse 11. Not much sensibility there. Wherefore, it must needs have been created for a thing of naught. You following? <laughs> Wherefore, there would have been no purpose in the end of its creation. Wherefore, this thing must needs destroy the wisdom of God and his eternal purposes, and also the power and mercy and the justice of God. And if ye shall say there is no law, ye shall also say there is no sin. Because why would there be a law without sin, right? Or crime or whatever. If ye shall say there is no sin, yea, shall also shall also say there is no righteousness. And there's no question mark there, but it sounds like a question. <clears throat> Ah, I guess they probably fix it in later editions. Uh, and if there be no righteousness, there be no happiness. And if there be no happiness, righteousness nor happiness, there be no punishment nor misery. Really? I'll take neither then. Great deal. But that's not what they mean. And if these things are not there, there is no God. Verse 13. <laughs> and if, I got to read this part again. It's verse 13, long verse. And if there is no God, we are not. <laughs> I got to reread this from the beginning. Verse 13. Of Second Nephi. <sighs> this is like, man, I think this would give the Apostle Paul a cerebral hemorrhage. <clears throat> Verse 13. And if ye shall say there is no law, ye shall also say there is no sin. And if ye shall say there is no sin, ye shall also say there is no righteousness. And if there is the, if there be no righteousness, there be no happiness. And if there be no righteousness nor happiness, there be no punishment nor misery. And if these things are not there, wait, and if these things are not, there is no God. If there is no God, we are not. Neither the earth, for there could be, could have been no creation of things. <laughs> Neither to act nor to be acted upon. Wherefore, all things must have vanished away. <laughs> He's going to take his ball and go home. Game over. And now, my sons, I speak unto you these things for your profit and learning, for there is a God. Yes, Virginia, there is a God. And he hath created all things, both the heavens and the earth, and all things that are in them are both things to act and things to be acted upon. God, this is some profound, profound shit. <laughs> and, and to bring about his eternal purposes in the end of man. After he had created our first parents and the fowls of the air, and in fine all things which are created... <laughs> So we didn't need to mention the fouls after all. Could have just said that part. 
It must needs be. Oh, that's a. I could have done a drinking game off of it. Must needs be, honestly. That there was an opposition. Even the forbidden fruit in opposition to the tree of life. I'm convinced. The one being sweet, the other bitter. Sometimes both can be fun. Just saying. That's what happens when you're open-minded. Wherefore, the Lord God gave unto man that he should act for himself. Therefore, man could not act for himself, save it should be that he was enticed by one or the other. And I, Lehi, according to the things which I have read, is it, is it something you read or is it a dream? I mean, I get confused, you know. Uh, then he dreams that he read something sometimes. <laughs> uh, must needs, must needs suppose that an angel of God, according to that which is written, hath fallen from heaven. Wherefore, he became a devil, having sought that which was evil before God. And because he had fallen from heaven and had become miserable forever, he sought also the misery of all mankind. Wherefore, he said unto Eve, Yea, even that old serpent, who is the devil, who is the father of all lies? Wherefore he said, Partake of the forbidden fruit, and ye shall not die, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Now i got to say something here. I've always wanted to bring this up. Genesis never mentions the devil. Not once. And in the, the story of e the Garden of Eden and the serpent and Eve. That was just a snake. It was a smart snake. Animals talked. They weren't surprised by a talking animal. I mean, why did God curse all snakes if it wasn't really a snake but the devil masquerading as a snake? I mean, does that really make any sense? Of course it does if you don't think about it. And after Adam and Eve had partaken of the forbidden fruit, they were driven out of the Garden of Eden to till the earth. And they brought forth children, yea, even the family of all the earth. God, surprisingly, not that many retards sat there. <laughs> I guess it was all right. Then again, Maybe that explains everything. <sighs> and the days of the children of men were prolonged according to the will of God that they must repent while in the flesh. Okay. Wherefore, their state became a state of probation. Biatch. Oh, probation. Oh, watch your ass. And their time was lengthened. That explains Genesis, I'm convinced. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lehi. Hurry up and die, biatch. <laughs> According to the commandments which, which the Lord God gave unto the children of men. All right. For he gave commandments that all men must repent. For he showed unto all men that they are lost because of the transgressions of their parents. Yeah, yeah, we heard that one before. If not your parents, the ones before that. <laughs> You're guilty somehow. 
biatch. And now, behold, if Adam had not transgressed, he would not have fallen, but he would have remained in the Garden of Eden. And all things which were created must have remained in the same state in which they were after they were created. And they must have remained free remained forever and have no end. And they would have had no children. Maybe. Wherefore, they would have remained in a state of innocence, having no joy, for they knew no misery. I think they were fine with that. <laughs> Doing no good, for they knew no sin. But behold, all things have been done in the wisdom of him who knoweth all things. He's moving little chess pieces around. Adam fell that men might be, and men are, <laughs> that they might have joy. <laughs> Thanks. So they could get drunk reading this book, except in this fucking chapter. And the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. Yeah. And because that they are redeemed from the fall, they have become free forever, knowing good from evil, to act for themselves and not be acted upon, save it be, by the punishment of the law that the great, at the great and last day, uh, according to the commandments of God, which hath, which commandments which God hath given. Wherefore, men are free according to the flesh, and all things are given them <laughs> which are, are expedient unto men, and they are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great meditation of all men, or to choose captivity and death according to the captivity and power of the devil. For he seeketh that all men be miserable like unto himself. Because misery does love company. And now, my sons, there he is with that pep top for his, I mean, God, they were like wailing on the boat, you know, I mean, is he talking to an infinite going, yeah, write it down, read it to the kid later. <laughs> I'm dying any day now. And then I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> And now, my sons, I, I would that ye should look to the great mediator, that's capitalized at least, and hearken unto his great commandments, and be faithful unto his words, and choose eternal life. Eternal? But that's not really true, even if, I mean, if you live from now till no end. It's still not eternal because you weren't there at the beginning. Except your atoms. Eh, maybe. All right. Your atoms were there. Yeah. <sighs> I'm reasonable. <laughs> According to the will of the Holy Spirit. And that's capitalized. Both Holy and Spirit. <clears throat> and not choose eternal death according to the will of the fle wait will of the flesh and the evil which is therein which giveth the power of the devil power which giveth the devil power to captivate oh really to bring you down to hell or at least make you go down uh, that 
he may reign over you in his own kingdom. I have spoken these few words. Is that really? Really? I wonder what you think a lot is. <laughs> Probably a guy who molests his daughters. But he got drunk first. <laughs> this book would have come in handy. <laughs> I have spoken these few words. <laughs> Unto you all, my sons, in the last days of my probation. And I have chosen the good part, according to the words of the prophet. You? No, a different prophet. Okay. And I have none other object, save it be the everlasting welfare of your souls. Amen. That's the end of chapter. To. Sorry, no drinks in it, but you can make this game up as you want. I'm thinking uh, needs be. Needs be. You'll get fucking drunk off your ass. That's what I should have done. But I don't want to change a title. So, peace out. Until chapter three, where Lehi continues to die. But in chapter four, things get fun. Peace out.